All right, Julie, thanks. Ahead this morning, teaching kids the value of reusing and the impact it has on our environment. Our very own Holly Morris is in Northern Virginia learning all about how students are growing up green in one local city. Check in with her coming up next. Good morning, everybody. I'm Holly Morris, and on this beautiful Tuesday morning, we are live at Jenny Dean Elementary in Manassas, where on the syllable is reading, writing, and recycling. We're talking all about going green and how they're doing it here in Manassas. And since it's raining, hey, maybe we'll start with rain gardens. You can see the rain barrel definitely working overtime here this morning. But really, this is a bigger, more comprehensive lesson plan that has everything to do with teaching young kids earth saving things they can do, obviously, and environmental impact, what it really means to save the environment. And it does start with something as easily as recycling your trash. This really is between the Manassas City of Department of Public Works and Utilities and the Manassas City Public Schools. And it's been something they've been doing for five years. And so this morning, we're going to talk about recycling, what can you recycle, single stream recycling, how that makes it easier on all of us. We're going to talk, like I said, about the rain gardens. We're going to talk about riding your bike to school and all the things you can do to make sure that Mother Earth is healthy way into the future. Sarah and Wisdom. Huh? And how appropriate. It is raining buckets for you today. And just talk <laughs> about the rain garden. So, Holly, <laughs> thanks so much. Stay warm. Thank you, Julie. 746 on this Tuesday morning. Coming up next, an out-of-the-classroom lesson in Living Green. Hi, Holly. Good morning to you. We are live this morning at Jenny Dean Elementary in Manassas. And, yes, on the lesson plan today, recycling and a whole lot more if you want to save the environment now is the time to teach your kids but guess what we're all going to get a little recycling 101 lesson live next on fox 5 morning news stay with us local leaders are getting kids out of the classroom for a lesson on caring for our environment that's right this morning we're learning all about the growing up green initiative holly morris quite the trooper today out holly. in the rain in manassas good morning to you holly you know, actually, it's okay being out here in the rain because we're going to talk about rain recycling <laughs> coming up. So it works perfectly. But you're right. We're talking about saving the environment in general. It's an important lesson that we all need to learn. And like anything, lessons are best learned when we're young. And they really believe that here at Manassas. That's why they are so behind the Growing Up Green initiative. And they couldn't do it without the help of the Manassas City Department of Public Works and Utilities, which is where Mike Moon comes in because he is the director. Good morning to you. Good Morning, Holly. And you know what? This is just the kind of lesson plan that you guys are interested in the young kids learning. Yeah, it is. We're, we're, what we're doing here is it's, it's called single stream recycling. Uh -huh. Something the city started or em embarked on in 2008, 2009. It was. It's about making it convenient and easy for our customers in the city to recycle. They you know, I think most people at this point are, are familiar with the recycling trucks, but they don't necessarily understand, like you said, exactly how it all works. Right. Right. Um, what, what happens is they can take all their recyclables, the, the newspapers, the glass, the cardboard, the plastic, and they can put it all in one recycling container and put it out curbside. And a truck, a recycling truck, waste management, American Disposal, who we use in the city, they can put that into the into the truck and then it's hauled to a material re recovery facility out in the county. You know, I think that, you know, a lot of times people are like, you know what, if I just throw this one magazine away, it's not going to make a difference. But when you talk about it in bulk, it does make a difference. Because on the right on the side of the truck, it says we you recycled enough paper to save 41 million trees. Yeah. That's a staggering number. Yeah, and I think that's important because our recycling, uh, we, we it preserves landfill space that's very valuable. Mm -hmm. It also is very important. You have to understand recycling now in the industry is used to, to produce uh, recyclables, uh, manufactured pr products with recyclable materials in them. So it's very, very valuable. You know what? I think probably teaching the young kids is probably an easy thing. They're probably more receptive to just learning how to do it, right? Right, right. They, don't ask, they probably don't ask the, as many questions as to why we're doing it. They're just like, okay, this is what I need to do, which is, which is important because that's how it becomes a habit. Right. I think we've, we've learned that, that if we can get them to form 
good recycling habits at a young age, mm -hmm. then they'll have those recycling habits for a lifetime. So it's very important. It is. And you know what's even better, I think, probably, is that those kids then go home and teach their parents how to recycle. Yeah, they're, they're all teaching us now. <laughs> exactly, because the older people that are more resistant. So right now, we thought we'd do a little uh, Recycling 101. So what do we got going on here? Well, we've got different materials the city recycles. Uh, plastics, we do all the plastics, number one through seven. And you'll see the plastic number on the container. That just indicates what it's made of. Okay, so real quickly, where, where would the number be on the... Yeah, you, you'll see you'll see uh, the recycling in a triangular right oh, okay. here. You'll see a plastic number two, I see and that. it's on different types of material. It's in different locations. So you'll see the milk jug, and, and most people have milk jugs. We also have your two-liter bottles of soda. Those are all recyclable. So just to clarify, as long as it has a number one through seven on it, you can put all those in the same bin, and you guys can recycle them together. That's correct, with a couple of exceptions that I'll get to. Okay. I, I always wonder about this, the milk, this because it's got plastic here but paper here. Yeah, they're, they're able to still recycle that. They're, they're, they've, been, they've come a long way with recycling these types of materials. Mm -hmm. they, can, they can sort it at the material recovery facility. Okay, we've got about a minute left, so I want to make sure we get important stuff in. Yeah, we also do metal cans. We do your newspapers you see here, your phone books, any kind of books. I'm sorry, does anyone this. use the phone book anymore? Not as many, but we still get them distributed. <laughs> yes, and you should recycle it if you're not using it. That's correct. Now, so a few things we don't recycle, uh, styrofoam plastic packing slips. Some manufacturer, um, we try to educate people that we can't always take all the plastic food stuff. It's not that it's the type of material, but it's how they've made it that makes oh. it not recyclable. So why is this not recyclable? It's because of the type of how they manufactured it. We don't take plastic bags in these. and We try to educate our citizens that they don't take these, but it's limited materials that uh -huh. they don't take. Most so this plastics. looks like obviously like the top for like a food plate, so there yes. would be a lot of those here. Yeah, there would so be. So what do you do with styrofoam then? Well, styrofoam, a lot of the styrofoam you can't can't recycle um, because of the fact that it's, it's, its melting temperature is different right. and they can't process it. So the moral of this story is don't use styrofoam. Foam. Right, right. It's something. <laughs> At all. Right, Don't right, use it. Right. And real quickly, this? Yard waste bags, we, we collect that once a week in the uh -huh. city. It's grass clippings, leaves. That's taken to a, uh, a mulching co composting facility in the city. And keep, yeah. it, keep it separate. Keep it separate. Don't put that with your regular right. garbage. All right. Very good. Thank, Thank you very you. much. My Fox DC is our website. We have a link to uh, the Manassas City Department of Public Works if you want to find out more about rules on recycling. Coming up in our next hour, our lesson plan also includes rain gardens. And you can see our water barrel here is getting a good workout today so we'll find out what the kids are learning with that in our eight o'clock hour back to you all all right thank you holly and i love that holly's attitude today yes because it could be miserable out yep. there plus holly morris is working on her green thumb this morning hey holly <laughs> hey guys not just any garden am i working my green thumb in as well we are live at jenny dean elementary in manassas where we are not only planting things but we're saving the environment in the process we're going to tell you all about it live next from fox Fun morning news stay with us Okay, I hope you guys are going to direct me here. <laughs> Rain or shine, one group of local students is making the most of the weather to get a lesson on the environment. Fox News' Holly Morris joins us now live uh, from Manassas with more. Good morning. Good morning, and I just ran over here to show you all this because I just saw it, and I love it. Look, painted on the side of the building here, small hands change the world. Well, not only do they change the world, but they are preserving the world as well. That is what the Growing Up Green initiative is all about and what they really do practice here at this school in terms of letting the kids learn how they can make a difference. And Sandy Thompson is the director of it all. She joins me. Good morning to you. Good morning, Holly. And nice to see you. It's nice to be seen. And rain or shine is what they said when they came out to us and you know what rain or shine this lesson works for sure actually I'm loving having the rain today because <laughs> it's exactly what we need to grow our gardens we're uh, look at all the neat things we're doing our well let's look at all the neat things we're doing because okay. this, is a, this is a pretty fun initiative so let's kind of take a tour of the outside here okay this is our outdoor science lab mm -hmm. and what we're doing here is the kids are actually using toothpicks popsicle sticks and they're actually learning about the different layers of the soil they're actually finding worms they're finding Finding ants. Kids, this have you all? Meaning, this gives meaning to digging in the dirt. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. All right. You know, I'm going to. You're all scientists out here, but I don't know. The head scientist is always the one with the clipboard in exactly. my book. All right. So, what are you finding? We're finding roots, ants, and dirt. Mm -hmm. Roots, ants, and dirt. You got that all recorded down there? Yes. All right. And um, what have you learned about the environment? That we learned. Humus, topsoil, subsoil, and bedrock, which you could also call solid rock. 
Man, you are good. They have learned a lot. All right, and that's just one station. Let's move on. What else okay, have we got going on okay. out here? Well, one of the things that we love about our Growing Up Green program is how we use our outdoor gardens. The kids right here, we have um, Marie drawing for us. We have all sorts of environmental books where the children learn about the environment. We have... Um, Kind of a center here where the children can write poetry and learn about nature. Oh, so our, our school board is very much into environmental stewardship and preparing our students for the 21st century. So we have this whole center here where we're just, the whole Growing Up Green program is across our entire curriculum. You know what I love? I love the encouraging to read outside. Because yes. you know what? How many times you said, and this is perfect. You could be under the canopy. It could be raining outside and reading a good book. Exactly. That's a good day, right? Good All right, day. let's work over here as okay. well. And tell me about what we got going on here. Right over here we have is we're actually planting some basil. We have actually, last year, we grew sweet potatoes. We grew all sorts of different lettuces, flowers. This basil will be used in our school cafeteria to season our food. Oh, really? How yes, fun is yes, that? Do you yes. really find that the kids understand, like, environmental impact and the difference when they learn things like that? Like, we grow our own food and then we have it for lunch? Exactly, they do. And they're really learning the life cycle. Like in our butterfly garden, they're learning about butterflies, they're learning about soil, and they're really learning how to go green. We, we recycle everything in this school division. Well, I want to check in with my... These are my expert gardeners here because yes. I'm telling you, when they came up... What's, do you remember what you said to me when you first walked up about gardening? Uh, I've been gardening for a few years, mm -hmm. and um, I've moved to about three different houses here, and um, ev everyone that I lived in, we gardened. Wow. So wh why is it so good to garden? Well, we always grew strawberries because it was a really fun thing to do, mm -hmm. and a few months ahead, we would grow pumpkins, so we wouldn't have to go out and buy pumpkins. So, so it helped to save you money. Uh -huh. You didn't have to go buy it. Okay. I want to come over here. Okay. Because you said you wanted to do what? Put the worms in. Put the worms in. Put the worms in. Right, okay. So you ready? Let's get the worms. And I love the fact that it's my girls over here that are digging the worms. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are super cool girls. Okay. Now, can you tell me what's so important about those worms? Um, worms are important because they um, give nutrients to the soil, and that helps plants grow. And so that makes them not gross and scary. Yep. <laughs> She's like, well, maybe they're kind of gross and scary, but no, but they're good gross and scary. <laughs> Actually, everything about this is obviously good, as you can see. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to the Manassas City Public Schools if you want to learn more about their Going Green initiative. We're going to learn more about it because they do have these outdoor classrooms, but they're also learning a lot about saving the environment indoors, and we're going to do that in our 9 o'clock hour. Back to you all. Thank you so much. First, those students in Manassas are going green. Coming up after the break, how they are learning to recycle and reuse. Plus, the new program that aims to keep kids safe on their way to and from school. We'll check in with Holly after the break. It is 946 now. A new generation gets a hand-on lesson in reuse and recycling and energy conservation. It's all part of Growing Up Green. Holly is more live from Jenny Dean Elementary School in Manassas, Virginia. Good morning, Holly. Well, good morning. The rain's still coming down, which is excellent for our rain garden, but not so good for our Safe Routes program. So Scarlett and I are just going to go ahead and walk our bike. Meet up with... Not good for a lot of things. It is not. Uh, having some problems out there. Uh, we will try to get Holly back in just a couple of moments. Do want to mention before we go to Tucker, we've uh, we lost uh, Holly's right. live shot, unfortunately. Doing some great stuff out there, all about getting green. Um, uh, some technical problems is preventing us from getting her. So this I'll weather's apologize. throwing a monkey wrench into some things. Pouring rain across parts of the area that will continue for the next couple hours.